As we understand from the Quran, Haman was one of the men closest to Pharaoh, obeying him and acting in compliance with his methods. And Karun and Pharaoh and Haman, Moses came with the clear signs to them, but they were arrogant on the earth. They could not outstrip us. We seized each one of them for their wrong actions. Against some, we sent a sudden squall of stones. Some of them were seized by the great blast. Some we caused the earth to swallow up, and some we drowned. God did not wrong them, rather they wronged themselves. Harun was another of those who, in his arrogance, fought with Pharaoh against Moses. The basic factor behind Karun's arrogance was his wealth. The wealth and rank attained by Karun had turned his head and made him arrogant. His arrogance led him to imagine that he had been given these things because he possessed certain superior qualities. He said, I have only been given it because of knowledge I have. Did he not know that before him God had destroyed generations with far greater strength than his and far more possessions? The evildoers will not be questioned about their sins. Yet arrogance brought him loss, not gain. Because God destroyed the wealth that caused his arrogance and caused people who lived far from religious moral values to admire him, We caused the earth to swallow up both him and his house. There was no group to come to his aid besides God, and he was not someone who is helped. Those who had longed to take his place the day before woke up saying, God expands the provision of any of his servants he wills or restricts it. If God had not shown great kindness to us, we would have been swallowed up as well. Ah, 
truly the unbelievers are not successful. Abu Lahab was an unbeliever from the time of Prophet Muhammad, may God bless him and grant him peace, who was known for his arrogance and insolence. The Quran informs us that he and his wife were repaid with hell for their evil doings in this world. They will be greatly humiliated with the punishments they receive. The situation of Abu Lahab and his wife is of enormous importance as a deterrent to those who come after. This is what is revealed about them in the Quran. Ruin to the hands of Abu Lahab and ruin to him. His wealth has not helped him nor anything he has earned he will burn in a flaming fire, and so will his wife, the firewood carrier, with a rope of twisted fiber round her neck. Oppression, cruelty, bloodshed, and tears dominated the 20th century. Cruel despots and dictators were always the originators of all these sufferings and catastrophes. Stalin, Lenin, Mao, Hitler, Mussolini, Franco, These people have gone down in history, not only because of their twisted ideologies, but also because of other traits they had in common. Because of their unrestrained arrogance and excess, every one of these people was a living example of how pride can lead to violence and rage. Every one of them harbored an ideology that encouraged feelings of hatred and contempt for the weak and admiration for the strong. Pride became a part of their souls. One of them was the Nazi German dictator Adolf Hitler. Hitler depicted himself as a popular hero. He ordered giant posters of himself to be put up all over the country. The aim of these posters was to give the masses the impression that Hitler was watching them at every moment. Hitler's arrogance led him to irrational superstition. He believed in the superiority of the Aryan race.